Bible says something. I can do all things through Christ. Which is right. And the way he strengthens me because he's alive. Right. Because he's alive, I can always be strengthened. You know that? Right. Uh, we'll be first tonight with the song and testimony that they'd like to give into the Lord tonight. I've, I've, uh, I've been all over, oh, I've been a lot of places, but there's nothing like the Lord's house. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I, whenever I go, I try to, I try to, I try to treat people like, like I want to be treated. Right. 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 And when I try to tell them about God, they look at you like you're a, uh, a net or something. <laughs> but all I want to do is I want them to get saved. Amen. I want them to uh, Bless you, Lord. I want them to be right with the Lord because if you die and you're not right with the Lord you, you go to you know where. <laughs> but I just, I just I just want everybody to like love the Lord like I do. Amen. And, uh, Amen. I, I just I just try to be a guiding light for you are, you are the, the lost and everybody else. And, and, uh, just pray. I can't take a heart that's broken. Yes, I know a man who 
commercial building or something. I think it had some more tail. So I may have heard to get a rope to ask us to sing if she's happy times. It tells the whole story. The time Jesus come, the time he's come by. If y'all just listen to the word, not the way I sing, listen to the words of the song. He was born in a stable in
you also got your Bibles, turn to Jeremiah. We've got a scripture there. Verse 6 in chapter 16. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the ways and see, and ask for the old paths, where is the good way, and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not walk therein. Lord, most kind and gracious, Heavenly Father, Lord, I come approaching thy throne, Lord, this evening, Father, with humble uh, heart this evening, Father, through all faith. And Lord, this evening, I'm asking, Father, for your guidance. Uh, uh, Lord, this evening, Father, I'm begging, uh, uh, Lord, that you would anoint us on I that we might preach uh, the very message, Lord, that's in power and, and demonstration, Father, this evening, Lord, that you would hide us this evening, and uh, Lord, that we would not be seen, but Father, that you would be seen, that you would be heard, uh, uh, Lord, that those that's here tonight, that they might hide this word in their heart, uh, Lord, that they might hear, uh, uh, having ears to hear, that Lord, that they would be doers of your word also, uh, uh, Lord, this evening, that we would hide this in our heart, that we would not sin against thee, uh, uh, Father, I pray that you would guide us through the scriptures, uh, uh, Father, that you would help us to bring it out in a way that's so simple, uh, uh, Lord, that we can understand it, that we can give it to your flock tonight, uh, uh, Lord, that they can understand, Lord, that they can go home, uh, uh, fill it up, Lord, this evening, Father, answer questions, uh, uh, Father, I pray, have your way this evening, in Christ's name we ask, uh, and we beg it all, and amen. Uh, uh, you may be seated this evening, uh, I would have much rather for somebody else to preach tonight, uh, uh, but you know what, I begin to uh, uh, think about uh, down through the day, uh, it just seems like that, uh, you know what, something has happened, they ain't had a lot of time, Brother Larry, uh, uh, but you know what, this evening I thought uh, about this revival, if anybody can see uh, uh, tonight, this evening it's a little bit quieter than it was last night. Uh, uh, friend, this evening you say, well, why is that? Uh, uh, I have no clue. Uh, uh, God's still the same today as He was yesterday. Uh, uh, but I do something this evening that we have an enemy, uh, that we have an adversary, uh, and He would love nothing rather, Brother Buell, than to creep in uh, and to tear down what God is trying to build up. Uh, uh, that's His job. That's what He loves to do. Uh, uh, everything that God
see what he was talking about. <laughs> you can go to Acts in chapter 2. <laughs> you can read about God. <laughs> the seeming pouring out his spirit <laughs> upon his disciples. <laughs> and you can read about the disciples having cloven tongues of fire. <laughs> After the mighty rushing wind came down. <laughs> No 
where something changes. It neighbors the whole system. Something happens. Why the ceiling would cause? Freedom can't ring from the ceiling of somebody else's spirit that comes to them. That spirit of God. You know what the ceiling brother built? I can't see the spirit of God. I can't see it flowing from breast to breast. I don't know who it's touched tonight. I don't know who it's knocked upon tonight. I don't know who it's going to knock on here in a little bit. But I'll tell you what. You let somebody mind that spirit and you can see the effects of it. You can know where it's hitting. You can know something's happened because I'll tell you what, every time the spirit moves, something great happens. But every time the spirit dies, what happens? Suffering. Loss. In this evening, I begin to think about it. Job, you hear Joel talking about the pouring out of the, of the Spirit. No doubt in my mind, Job was looking afar off from this evening so many years down the road and looking there on the day of Pentecost whenever God was going to pour His Spirit out upon all humanity. In this evening, in the 10th chapter of the book of Acts, you can read where Peter was sitting upon the rooftop. You know what this evening he said? He fell into the transfer. He began to see in a vision. He saw a sheet coming down and hit it to four corners. And that was all manner of fruit. A manner of food. And he said, rise up and eat Peter. And Peter said, no. He said, I've never in all my days eaten anything uncommon or unclean. He said, and this evening the voice come to him again. And I believe a third time, if I'm not mistaken. And said, rise Peter, eat and kill and eat. Peter said, I have never tasted of anything uncommon or unclean. And you know what this evening it says, the Lord come to him. He said, whatever I've caught. That we have clean. He said, call that not uncommon or unclean. That we have seen him too many times. We want to look at somebody. That we have seen him and we want to judge them. That we have seen but I want you to know something. <laughs> what measure of judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged also. <laughs> Bring the seating. We need to pull the beam out before we can pull the mode out. <laughs> Bring the seating. We need <laughs> to look at everybody, not as better than everybody else. <laughs> I'm nothing this evening. I'm nobody. <laughs> and you are neither. We're only here today because Jesus Christ loved us enough <laughs> to give His only begotten Son <laughs> on a cross this evening. <laughs> Savior Jesus Christ. 
Because if it's not of God, it's like gibberish in the house of the Lord. And it'll bring confusion. And when confusion comes, it dangers this spirit. So that's why something's happening. I don't know what's going on. But I'll tell you something. We're in the season and God is still trying. God wants his people to be blessed. I begin to think about Jeremiah standing in the old paths. When he finally said, walk there in. For that is the good way. He said, but they said we will not walk. We're in the season there's too many people today not willing to walk the way God says to walk. Not be the way that God says to be. They want to do it their own way. I just preached to you all this stuff. And last night, this evening, uh, what we preached about the children of Israel walking around the walls of Jericho. If they hadn't walked the way God walked, told them to walk in the walls when they come down. Uh, in the evening, we've got to walk in the good way, the old paths. Uh, when I remember a time when they always talked about, uh, said they knew when it was church time, and said because the people would come out of the hills singing. Uh, they didn't have the automobiles. They didn't have the fancy cars. Uh, friend, they didn't care if it was a foot of snow on them, 13 degrees. They would walk in them paths. They were in the ceiling coming down by the hills. In the cold earth. They didn't care about getting their shoes dirty. They were in the ceiling. They had to get there early because somebody had to light the fire. They, were in, they had a desire today. The people's running out of the desire. And it's because confusion is going on in their lives today. If you've got confusion, and you don't know if you're in point A or point B, how you can look around at all the signs you want to, but until you stood up and you looked at the sign and someone was telling you to find you, you was lost. But you know what, whenever Patty looked up that night, where she was sitting, she was right in the place where she needed to be. But Patty just had to see it. Sometimes, we've just got to be able to see it. And understand where we're at. Sometimes I've got to turn around. Sometimes I've got to turn back around to find where God wants me to be. God's will, what I preached to you last night. God's will. If you keep God's will, friend this evening, God will bless you. But if you don't, I don't think God is the author of confusion. Sometimes we wonder where I am. If you ain't in the solid rock, you may leave shifting sand. You're lost. If you don't know today, you're lost. If you're here tonight, friend, it seems like you've got confusion in your mind that's making you doubt where you're standing. It's not a God today. It's confusion, and confusion is a saying. Friend this evening, but I'll tell you something. If you'll just turn. If you'll just turn to Him. I want you to know something. It's not some place you can't be seen. God wants to be seen. He just needs people looking for Him. If here tonight something is not right in your life, turn and look to God. Because if you look to God, you'll find Him. Seek me with your whole heart. And He said, I shall be found. Seek you today with your whole heart. If you're here tonight and it just seems like not everything's clicking in your life, seek God out. God gave you the spirit down inside of your soul. If you're in the city, that spirit is supposed to lead and guide you and direct you in all ways of truth and righteousness. That spirit is always supposed to lead you to where? To Christ. I know a lot of people that follow coattails. A great man. They fashion themselves after me. My dad always told me, he said, don't you try to be like nobody else. He said, if you won't be like somebody else, he said, be like your dad. He said, don't go with every form of fashion in the world. That's the same God, thing that God told me. Mm -hmm. I can't put my confidence in man. I can't hold on to their coattail. They won't get me nowhere. I've got to follow after Jesus. Amen. I've got to try to be like him. Right. And if I'll be like him, he'll lead me to where I'm going. Because I'm going to the same place he is. I'm going to heaven. How about you? Amen. If you're here tonight, if you've got doubts, you're wondering where you're at. And you see, you just find yourself lost. You need to turn and look for Christ. Christ, please stay in some place. 
here tonight as everyone stands.